Hey guys, Jerome here from the SG Football Podcast. Welcome on in to the vlog series of the AFF Suzuki Cup 2020. Of course, with COVID and everything else, the tournament had to be brought into 2021. So just thank goodness that the relevant bodies have come to an agreement and managed to come to an agreement to actually hold the tournament in Singapore for this edition. So exciting stuff as we move on into the tournament tonight. The first game will be versus Myanmar at 8.30. Now, the thing about Myanmar is that they actually have quite a bit of a problem because they brought 27 players to Singapore. Of these 27, 14 of them are doubtful because of inconclusive COVID tests and everything else, so they are not allowed to be training with their teammates. And then the rest of the 13 that are fit, four of them are goalkeepers, so their coach Antoine has quite the big task ahead of him to try and actually field 11 fully fit players into tonight's game so it's gonna be quite interesting to see how that works out first game of course tonight will be Timor Leste versus Thailand I'll be there for that one so as to check out who Singapore or how Singapore fare against the likes of these nations Thailand of course no strangers to the top of the Southeast Asian game Timor Leste still the minnows of the competition coming in with a very youthful squad so that's going to be quite an interesting thing since most of them have actually been here from the under 22 tournament that was held in October so they've been here for quite a while so that's a good thing for them in terms of preparation so that's group A which will consist of Singapore, Myanmar, Timor-Leste, Thailand and finally the Philippines in the other group of course the superstars of that group we have Vietnam, we have Malaysia, we have Indonesia, we have Cambodia and Laos in that second group so it's gonna be interesting to see how those three teams especially Vietnam Malaysia and Indonesia fight it out for those two places available for the second round of the tournament the knockout phase so you can tell I'm really excited it's gonna be a massive tournament and I'm so excited can't talk anymore let's go straight to the stadium Bit across, bit across! That's the ball! Feeling that the longer that it stayed at nil nil, right, it will be even more nerve wracking. Yeah. Oh. Get across, get across. Yes! Go on! Yes! Yes! Go on! Go from Iksan. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Iksan finally with this tremendous finish. 2-0 to Singapore. Come on, let's get it. Come on. Half-time score, 
3-0 to Singapore. Iksan Fandi with a double and Safwan. Oh my god, I'm already breathless already. What a start um, for this first half. 3-0 to Singapore. Oh, it's incredible. That's the thing, the longer it stayed at nil-nil, it was gonna be a nervy, nervy finish, but Safwan with the with the opening goal and then after that just you know, all the way, it was Singapore with two fantastically well-taken goals by Iksan. One, a great finish with his right foot, and then after that, a great hitter. What a start to this competition so far for Singapore. Long may it continue. Long may it continue. Exciting. Still, still. Honestly, now, final score, what do you think? Maybe four or five. Anyway, we'll be doing the fan camps later at the end, so do go on to the Instagram and follow us on there and you know we'll leave the socials. But second half is gonna be even better and it's gonna be amazing. Wow. It's ah. Come on, get it! Come on, Final score 3-0. Not 3-1, huh? Not 3-1. Oh, so close, that was so close. <laughs> So close to I nearly gave him a grab voucher so he's asking me what, what to give him. <laughs> uh, but all in all, good victory and uh good victory, clean sheet. First clean sheet in a long while, right? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Two years. Two years. <laughs> oh, fuck. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> um today's attendance was seven thousand. How do you feel like the support was in inside the camp? I think it's amazing because I uh, there's a cap of 10,000. Hey guys, Jerome here from the SG Football Podcast once again for the second day of the Match Day Vlogs. This is Match Day 2, Singapore versus the Philippines. It's going to be an intense game after what you just saw. Singapore winning the first game by three goals to nil. We are a little bit closer to hopefully making it to the semi-finals for the first time in four editions. So hopefully we can do that. Um, as soon as possible with the win today of course we can hopefully inch even closer to that thank goodness of course the thailand game is the last game of the group because that by far is the toughest so if we can get good results against the philippines and of course timor leste in the next two games hopefully we would have assured of the semi-final place before the last game of the group stage so fingers crossed that we can make it but uh, of course, I'm keeping my expectations as low as it can be because, again, high expectations means more disappointment. So we're trying to keep it as low as possible. But at the end of the day, still backing the Singapore boys. Come on, you Lions. Let's get to the stadium. And we are in the stadium. So it's just about an hour away from kickoff. We just saw the last game between Myanmar versus Timor Leste. Ended up as a 2-0 victory to the Myanmar team. Not enough for them to, of course, go above that goal difference that uh, they consider against Singapore. But a step in the right direction for the Myanmar team, who definitely look um, looked a little bit leggy in that first game, especially. But here tonight, I mean, against the Timor Leste side who were built on defending, I mean, they definitely did well to breach their defense. Though I thought they could have scored more, uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, all they wanted to make sure was to get a victory on their end, and. Uh, for Singapore tonight is going to be important because against the Philippines, the second game that they played last Suzuki Cup, they lost 1-0 in uh, Philippines. So hopefully a little bit of revenge here. And uh, hopefully if we get a positive result, that will step will find us in good stead to hopefully qualify for the semi-finals for the first time in the last four editions as I pass by the Lions right there. Big boy Shalan Sulaiman, Gabriel Quack, Haris Harun, Shaul Anwar, and of course. Hassan Sani. Shout out to Shaul Anwar who actually I thought played a very good game uh, against uh, Myanmar. Definitely did well along that right hand flank and it will be interesting to see if Tatsuma will you know stick with Shaul you know based on his performance on uh, on that day itself and uh, but about an hour away from kickoff the lineup should be out soon and uh, getting ready for the game. Here I am of course with the main man from Boot Hype, Mr. Hatta Aziz. Good to see you. How are you doing today, my man? Very good. Very excited to watch my first game of, uh, for me, first Singapore uh -huh. game. Uh, very nice. I wasn't here for the uh, opening game, but uh, quite excited weekday night, you know. Yeah. Um, Philippines, which are, I think, no pushovers. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, definitely uh, not. So I think yeah, I'm really excited after after the opening win. So, mm. yeah. Very good, very good. So, I mean, now the big one was the positive result that we had against Myanmar in the last game. Yeah. 
Uh, what do you expect from the team today? Um, you know, Myanmar had they, they have sorry, um, Philippines haven't had their first game yet, right? Yeah, that's the thing. And we've had what three days to recover. Yeah. Um, I expect at least at least a draw. Okay. I mean, Thailand's a big one in the, in oh, the, yeah, the group, that's right? For sure, so, yeah. and the last guys in the group to, to that we're playing against, so. Mm. It would be nice for us to collate as many points as possible going to the last game. That's that's the thing. I think that's the biggest point is that we're lucky we're facing Thailand last because we want to make sure that we get enough points from now until the end to hopefully not to be expecting too yeah. much from that one. Yeah, year. exactly. So you don't want to go into the pressure yeah. to, to, to kind of force for the points. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I think we can at least draw, not yeah. win. Yeah. Um, I think Philippines has a lot of experienced players playing. Yeah. Uh, that's one way to say they're older players, but uh, but, but they're coming in fresh legs, Philippines. Yep, true. So, I, I'm okay with draw, uh, but I, I think we can push for a win. Nice, nice. Anyway, this is Hatta Aziz. Fantastic work that he does on boothype.com. Do check his Facebook page out. Do check the Instagram, everything. I'll link it up in the description or the comments below and everything else. Do pick him out. Great boots, great reviews and everything else. And uh, where else can we find you? Um, yeah, we're on boothype.com, which is the website. So you can read all the stuff there. and. Um, you can find us at Boothive Official on Instagram as well. And um, yeah, thanks, thanks so much for featuring me. All right, fantastic. And of course, he also does the podcast with the brilliant guys at Premier Football. There's somewhere here today. I just I just don't know where they are. They, they, they bought the ticket, so they don't have press access like we do. But um, there's somewhere here. Very I just nice. have Briani with them. So, oh, uh, very nice. Yeah. Now, you don't make me just now because I haven't eaten yet. Good oh, God. my goodness. <laughs> I'm too full right now. I'm too full. Oh, good <laughs> God. Okay, but anyway, we'll be. I'll be bringing stuff more from other people as well in the stadium. And uh, we'll be doing fan cams as usual at the end. My good good friend here will be doing that as well with us so stick along with us and uh, we'll catch you soon okay here i am on another walk around this time with kenneth from fas of course lead writer fantastic stuff i'll link up to his articles and socials below so do check him out uh kenneth so coming into this game how confident are you because the last game we played myanmar we beat them three nil what was your overall thoughts on that game uh i mean three nil you can't ask for anything better than that in an opening game and yeah. uh, I mean, performance-wise, of course, there's a lot of things to be improved on. And uh, I mean, if you realize we scored the goal in an 11-minute patch, yeah. so uh, we didn't start the game particularly well. But mm. you know, I think Singapore's uh, expertise is always uh, set pieces. Yeah. We, we are always good on. Uh, we I think we practice a lot on set pieces, and yeah. we have good. We have players with height, ability, mm. with headers, and uh, I guess that's what worked. And uh, of course, Iksan, you know, he's. I think he, he uh, a lot of people talk about his lack lack, lack of match uh, action fitness in uh, Norway, but he, he showed that you know in a, on a big stage uh, his predatory instincts are yeah. still intact and uh, overall it was a good win and clean sheet. I mean, yeah. what, what more can you ask for? Yeah, so that's the thing now. Now we're gonna look at uh, today's game, Philippines. Um, they didn't have too much match practice of course coming into this one. What are your expectations coming into this one? Uh, I mean, Philippines on paper, they are always a tough side. And uh, I mean, since uh, I, I've, I mean, to, to, to do research for my piece and I've tried to do some research and uh, I think in the last uh, seven meetings, uh, Philippines have won, won three times, uh, drawn two times. We have only, only won two times. And uh, the I think the five meeting, the recent five meetings, it was always decided by one goal. It was goalless. So it's always a tight game with Philippines. and yeah. so. Uh, I'm expecting a tight, uh, another really tight game, but I'm expecting Singapore to edge it. This is why I asked him along because he <laughs> gives all the stats and everything else, bam bamboozles me at times. But honestly, this guy, go read up, go read up on his articles and everything else. Always gives very good insights and uh, the stats man lah. That's what I call him. Thank, Kenneth for the stats the nice words. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna make it tough for you right now. We do, beware. You are amongst uh, our boys here. Uh. <laughs> what are you thinking in terms of uh, score predictions today? Uh, you want a prediction and explanation or? Uh, if you want to give me an explanation, <laughs> hey dude, I'm, okay, I'm okay, all no, for your explanations. No uh, uh, I think it's, uh, I was thinking 3-1 but I just saw the lineup and uh, there's quite a few changes. So I think it's apart from uh, trying to preserve some of the energy from the boys, I think it's a tactical change and I think Philippines is always tough to, to break down. Uh, they have good foreigners. Uh, foreigners. Naturalized players, yeah. uh, so 
Uh, I, I fancy them scoring one, but I think we can edge it 2 1 and maybe one of the goals will be again by a set piece. Although Shadan is not starting, I yeah. still expect us to score from a set piece. We have Zufami, we have Gabriel even on corners and on set pieces. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. That's why I always have this guy because not only is he able to like give you the predictions, but he's able to rationalize everything, and which is why he's one of the best in Singapore. Anyway, Kenneth, looking for a good game. Thank you. And look up his All articles. Right. I'll leave the links and everything down in the description and uh, check him out as well. Thank you. Kabir, what is up? Kabir, of course, from the final whistle, and he's here to give me the shirt, of course. Guys, uh, once this is available, I will link them in the description below. Do listen to the podcast, especially with the Singer Brigade, especially what's been going on. I think that's been a very important yeah. podcast to listen to, I believe. Come here, just wondering, what is your predictions for today's game? 2-0 um, Singapore. 2-0 Singapore? 2-0 Singapore. Okay. okay. Uh, Iksan good. double. Iksan double? Yes, uh, it's like our hair. Uh. What? Our hair, it's It's the win, uh, bro. Okay, maybe it's just mine. Uh. Look at mine. <laughs> 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 like the Raffles, Raffles Hotel, the, the Jaga. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you're going to be wearing this surprise, the TFW shirt. Do get a copy if you can. Uh, Look at that. I mean, they also have masks also available, by the way. No, la, no masks. No masks already. Yeah. Uh. Okay, just shirts. Sorry, no masks, but shirts. But, uh, red, red, black and white. See, okay. If anything, do check out their podcast anyway. I was honoured to be part of their podcast for a few episodes. And, uh, you know, really good stuff. Really delves a lot into Singapore football as well. And uh, really eye-opening experience. And definitely something you should listen to. Not as if you're already not listening to that. I think everybody <laughs> here probably listening to that already. Hopefully. But, uh, yeah. La. Anyway, that's it. Come here. 2-0, that's your prediction. My prediction is 2-1 actually. 2-1. 2-1. I think Marinon will score probably. My hair still cannot keep up. Hey, sell up. Never mind, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> editing, editing, but then still cannot lah. Huh? But okay, Ken, come okay. here, thanks. All right. Anything, no shirts, I will let you guys know and uh, enjoy the game, uh, guys. Appreciate take it. care, take care. Come on, get in! Oh! It's 1 0 to Singapore, Harris with a bit. Set piece, I told you! Yes! <laughs> he said it's set piece, and that's why. Yes! Come on! Come on! Yes! Run, just run, just run! Ref! Away, oh, yes, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's so much. Come on, Red Blue! I, I owe you one. Right. <laughs> oh my god, that oh that that should not have been that stressful. Oh Singapore come out 2-1 winners. Harris and Faris with the goals here in their rhyme. 
my voice is gone. And then uh, I'm in Azari with a, a goal late on. And it finishes 2 1. But what a game that was. Credit to the Philippine fans. Absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. What tournament is going to be? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, we just need the points against Timor Leste and then it's through. Or oh, we're through to the, the semi finals. It's a long way to go. One more match to go against Timor Leste. Come on, you Lions! Uh, like I've mentioned earlier on in the day, I couldn't bear watch the last few minutes. It was that nail-biting. Mm.